After you've chewed it, you push food to the back of your mouth with your tongue. That's a conscious act using voluntary muscles. The rest of the process is automatic. The epiglottis closes off your trachea, the tube to your lungs. This stops food from going down the trachea. Instead, it moves down the esophagus, toward your stomach. Two layers of muscles surround the esophagus. When you swallow, they squeeze food downward toward your stomach. This steady contraction and relaxation is called peristalsis. It occurs throughout your digestive system. Soon the food reaches your stomach. So far, very little of the digestive process has taken place. But now, much more begins to happen. Like the esophagus, your stomach is wrapped in layers of muscles. But there are three layers of muscle instead of two. They also contract in a peristaltic rhythm. The three layers contract in waves. This mixes the food with liquids that your stomach produces. These are gastric juices secreted by microscopic glands that line the inner wall of your stomach. Stomach glands secrete two digestive substances. Cells called chief cells secrete an inactive enzyme, pepsinogen. Hydrochloric acid is secreted by parietal cells. The acid converts pepsinogen into pepsin, an active enzyme. Pepsin breaks down complex protein molecules into simpler chemical parts. But very little happens here to carbohydrates or fats. Their breakdown will take place farther down the line in your small intestine. 